So Ajaz, tough night at the office last night, but um, how are the book boys brought up this morning? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I think obviously uh, we'll take a lot of learnings from yesterday and um, you know it was nice to finally get out there. Obviously we've been training uh, for a few days prior to that, but you never know what it's going to be like until you get out into the middle. So uh, I think we'll learn from that pretty quickly and adapt for the next one. Yeah, so what was it today? Was it a few meetings I saw? So is that just about talking and sharing what you saw out there last night? Yeah, I think it's about um, you know getting a clear idea of um, what we experienced yesterday and um, what our plans are going forward. So uh, it's all about looking ahead um, and looking for the next one and see how we can build from yesterday. Yeah, and you personally out there, um, look, spin friendly conditions, you must have enjoyed yourself out there. Yeah, it's always nice as a spinner when you come onto a surface that's actually giving you a bit of assistance. So it's really important that you try and make the most of it. Um, obviously, it would have been nice uh, if the circumstances were a little bit different, but um, in, in saying that, I, I think um, you know it's a great experience for all of us to kind of go out there and um, do our thing on, on conditions that favour us. Yeah, and we saw a bit sort of coming off the surface and gripping, turning, bouncing. Is it about as a spinner also bowling into the wicket as much as anything? Yeah, I think on surfaces like that where you do have um, that much assistance, sometimes it's just about control. Um, it's about being able to control your length um, and what you try and do with the ball. Sometimes the most dangerous balls are the ones that don't turn. So um, sometimes that can be a challenge as well. But um, yeah, look, last night was a good night for me personally with the ball. Um, and, you know, I'd like to maybe try and continue to replicate that throughout the series. And hopefully we can, um, you know, turn some results our way. Yeah. and. Those figures, your figures last night, that was the second best, second most economical figures for a Black Caps bowler in T20 cricket behind Dan Vittori. Um, how's it feel about there with Dan? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, um, two people that I really look look up to when it comes to spin bowling as a left armour are uh, uh, Dan and, and um, Rangana. And Rangana was uh, there yesterday, so I had a brief chat to him. And um, uh, I've got a chat lined up with Dan today, uh, just talking around his experiences in Bangladesh and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, and, and, and Dan would be a great resource, I'd imagine, just to sort of bounce ideas off. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, he's played a lot of cricket around the world and um, he knows as a left armer, I guess, what uh, challenges he faced and, and what um, differences he came across uh, as he travelled around the world. So um, it'll be nice to be able to pick his brain around, you know, the differences that he faced and what challenges and how he kind of adapted to them. Um, and I'm hoping that that'll kind of give me a bit, of, a bit more of a head start, um, you know, coming to conditions like this. Mm. And just finally, Ajaz, I guess... Um benefit of a quick turnaround is you just get to get out there and, and show your skills up once again yeah 100% and that's a great thing um, I, I guess in a condensed tour like this um, you know you don't have much time to kind of dwell on the past you, you just keep looking forward and moving on and um, I guess looking to see how we can improve um, and where we can improve for the next one so um, yeah it's it's uh, all forward thinking and um, you know looking forward to the, the game coming up hey Jazz thanks very much mate thank you